guys to a new video. Today is Monday. Last week of last weekend, we uh, didn't have that great race as we wanted, but yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is. So uh, for now, we have uh, the young birds and their old hens outside and late young birds as well. So we were gonna clean the loft and then we uh, gonna watch the birds. So we need the loft of the young birds and the old hens. And as you can see, they went into a bath, so they're nice and clean. They are getting back inside. Also the late young birds are also um, starting to fly around the loft, so that's great. Here also we have some youngsters. Back inside with yeah two parts of the lock, so we have to separate them. So and here there's some food. The young birds are hungry. Yeah, they are on the lightweight mixture just because. Not pretty sure what ways we're gonna waste. Maybe for Thursday that we're gonna basket them, or otherwise we're gonna do it a Friday. And then we have not a long distance race. Young bird race up to 450 kilometers. And the other one is, I think, around 300, something like that. I'm not pretty sure. I'm gonna get the young birds to the wrong part of the loft. They're not all coming back. Mostly have them in the own department. 14, so two more. That's an old hen, that one right there, so gotta check. Yeah, also another youngster. Come on. There's one outside. That one is my best young bird from this year. Two weeks ago, he got a 15th in the department and 18th in sector four. Was against 15,104 birds, so that's really nice. So the last one has to come back inside, the grizzly one. Also, there's some thunder clouds as you can see. We expect some rain in an hour maybe, so we're gonna get the old hands away from this part and then we're gonna feed them. So we are here with the young birds and as I told you already, they are hungry, as you see they are, so we're gonna feed them out of our hands just because yeah it's fun to do right so yeah the young birds are not afraid of me so that's uh, yeah the best thing it's preventing uh, stress for them also when you're gonna basket the birds they're not uh, going crazy that's what I like with my birds I just can grab them without a fight catch them or anything like that so yeah so the last youngster is also inside we still need two more late birds late young birds they have to come back inside just gonna check one is there on the rooftop and one was on my own you can't see so yeah there's one still on the nest 
with two fertile eggs, but I think they won't come out. Or at least I won't let them grow up for sure. And this weekend is the last way, so then I'm gonna remove everything and we're gonna separate uh, the males from the hens. So yeah, some of them really heavy molding. This youngster is one for my best uh, hands. So, yeah. There we have the Belgian bird. And about on the fishing event in Houghton this spring. So, yeah, we've got some different kind of colors this year. So that's also nice. But most important is that they're gonna waste hard. That's the best thing. This one is the 709. The checker one, this one as well, 708. It's from the same, same pair, same nest. You can see the birds. I'm not afraid of me. That's that's really really nice. So we also, when I feed this these guys, we're gonna check on the male birds how far they are with the molting because. They are, I think, four, four or five weeks off of the lighting because yeah, I uh, dim the lights. There we have a late young bird. He has to learn, so we're gonna close this one because here we have all the birds back. So I don't want the late young birds with these birds. Because yeah, if I feed these guys, I want them to eat it and not the other ones. So, so here with the old males, I didn't clean this loft, but you can see all the feathers everywhere. The mold is really heavy. It's going fast with the lights off, with just the net wall lighting system. Yeah, everything changes. So yeah. These are also my waste birds and my breeders. So a few of them maybe will go and leave the loft. And others will go to the to become a breeder and the other ones I will waste with another year. So we shall see. I will grab one and then we're gonna check on the molting, how far they are. Here we have one of my Belgian breeders from the kitten line dick from the book. This one, as you can see, four old flights. He's almost molting two at the same time. The other wing, same. I didn't, yeah, I, I did breed two youngsters from this hen, a male, and I gave them away to uh, uh, a friend of mine. But yeah, I didn't keep one for my own. So this next year I will keep uh, a few for myself to test them. They are mostly for the short and the middle distance. Next one we have is the 970s. One of my best uh, waste birds from the old birds. This year with old birds, it, yeah, it was great. But yeah, we can't do nothing about it. Next year we have an another chance. This one is on five old flights. This one I was with at uh, veterinary, not sure how to say it, but at least uh, a pigeon fed. And he's also a racer, pigeon racer. And he told me this one will become your best bird of your loft. Also potential uh, daily text, so that means in top 10 in the department. Yeah, he once flew um, third in the department from Helmstedt, the German flight, so yeah, something, he was right about it. It's really a great, great bird, also in the hand, strong, strong muscles, and yeah, it's just a great, great bird. This year it didn't show its potential that he could be have, but yeah, we uh, we just keep him. And I'm thinking about to just raise one more year, and otherwise maybe we're gonna use him for breeders. So we will see. 
So there were a few of the male birds, the old male birds. I have 11 and we have to separate or select a few to go and leave the loft. But yeah, I'm not sure which one, what one I already checked. The waste is that the waste, the price that they get. And also with the youngsters we breed from them, what we have left. And then, uh, yeah, there are a few that are not that great. So we have to see and check for yeah what we want. Then we also have to select them by hand. And then we're gonna keep what we want. So we will see. I'm gonna dim the lights right here and I'm gonna check on the other parts. And then we are with the end of the video. So here with the youngsters, you can see a little bit left. I feed them around 25 grams each because we feed a light weighted mixture. So I give them a little bit more than usual. But yeah, they have to train and stay training and they do for now. So then, yeah, it's great. In the morning, <coughs> I only gonna feed 10 grams each. So that will be enough. Here with the old hens and the late young birds. Here we have the last two that came back. And we have the hens right here. Come, 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 come. It's already start waning. As you can hear. There are some thunder clouds. So yeah, as you can hear maybe in the video as well. So that's also was the video. I hope you like this one. In the next one, we maybe go in with selection a little bit more, but we will see what we're gonna do next. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel if you do it down below. We appreciate it. See you in the next one. Bye guys.